Hello and welcome to Intelligent Design, an evolutionary sandbox. So this is this is a god game. We we got a, a planet here. We're trying to uh, manipulate the genetics of the different plants and herbivores and carnivores. I played this one on the channel a long time ago, been a couple of years at least, and uh, it, it's an interesting game. Uh, the reviews aren't too kind with it, but I think it's because it's it's a weird game. We're trying to, it's 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 not an idle game, but it's it's more of a just kind of playing around with genetics, seeing if you can create some sort of a planet here. And um, I actually got an email from the dev several months ago asking me to check it out again because uh, they did a big update. This is like the end of last year, so it's been a little while. Um, I don't think there's any, any been much development since then, but I thought we should check this one out again. This is, you know, the five-year anniversary of my channel, and we're looking back on some of my uh, interesting playthroughs that we've done in the past. And this is certainly uh, near the top of the interesting list for sure. So let's start up a new one here and jump into a new world. So we're like this, there's like a bit of a story here where we were going to this planet to like terraform it, essentially. And uh, first off, we got a new planet. We have like Ice World here. And all we really do is we come in here, we can we can spawn in random things. Each of these uh, things we spawn in have different genetics. Um, we don't actually know any of these yet. Once we get science, we'll learn how to manipulate the genetics of the plants and animals. Uh, well, plants and animals. So let's go ahead and throw out just some random plants here. We're going to just sort of spawn them in. In here we got this this big beacon is like a uh, it's like a force field that's creating uh, um, an area of safety for our plants that we're throwing in here because I guess we're in some sort of inhospitable place. So we're spawning these guys all in. Lots of little seeds will go flying down. Uh, depending on this, things we can uh, manipulate later on. We can like change uh, how big the seeds are, how how um, how quickly they reproduce whenever they become plants. So we got little plants down here. They're not the prettiest of of things. They're just little blobs. Um, and I'll try to turn this, I guess, um, Arctic world into a, uh, uh, a uh, not Arctic world. Well, I guess it'll still be Arctic, but you know what? A green Arctic world. So they're flowing down here, and they are starting to to plant their roots. We can see we got 287 plants over here, and no herbivores, no carnivores. Where our goal is to get 10 wild plants, which we should be doing pretty soon. You see a couple little uh, shooting out some seeds there. And we want to build a research station. So let's go and do that. Let me slow this down a little bit this way. So, uh, yeah, there's like, there's four different worlds. They all kind of look, they're, they're all pre-made, but they all look a little different. This is the only ice one they added in. I think this is, this is with the new update. I say new. New is like October last year. So some of these guys are pretty tall. Some of them are burning away. Uh, let me go and see about putting in a, uh, what do I want? Research station? I'll get a research station. We're going to put it down like right, uh, there. Nope. Right, uh. Right to there, then. Biomass. No biomass. Okay, we need to get a biomass collector. What this is going to do is going to, um, what's the word? Scoop up biomass. Is that the word? Sure. So we get this giant tower that's going to come in here. And based on all the plants around it, it's going to go scoop up 16 biomass per second. And then we're going to get a number here. We get the biomass, we get the ability to make research stations, for instance, and radars to increase our, uh, our, uh, build range. Um, and, uh, and yeah. So we've got we got plants. Uh, we need to get um, we need to research science, and we also need to research the first plant gene, which we'll see in uh, in here in a moment. Once we can unlock some of these, we can go to science. We can unlock some genes once we get some science in here. So we've got enough for a research station. Let's go ahead and build this thing. It's been a long time since I played this game, and uh, you know, yeah, I, I keep saying this, but it, it's a weird one, but it is interesting. So there we go. So there is a research station doing its research thing. As long as things are around here we'll get some science coming in. So we get 0.7 science per second, which is coming in right here. Once we get 250, we get to unlock a plant genetic, which right now we're just throwing out random plants. And, and I guess at, as we do more of the game, as we play more of the game, we can start playing around with the genes, like how how tall they are, how much, how much, um, I think like how much moisture they, they need, how, uh, how, how quickly they reproduce. All these things are kind of things we can throw in here. Um, and so, uh, I mean, there's, not, there's, like, there's like no win condition to the game, as far as I understand. It's just sort of just playing around. We get a world score up there, which we can compare, you know, we we'll compete with other folks, I guess. And it all kind of looks like this little, uh, you know, this little polygon kind of uh, um, style. Nothing too fancy. I think it'd be extra fancy if we had, like, little plants, but... But what am I? Uh, let's come in here and let's upgrade our science to a bigger area, so they should be bringing in more science per turn. When you bring it in now, buddy, 2.6 plant science per turn. Excellent, excellent. We got plenty of plants. Let's go bring in some uh, some animals. Let's go try some random herbivores. So what they're going to do, they're going to go eat plants and lay eggs. So let's just pop some of these guys in, like right over here. 
There we go. I think I did it twice. Whoops. Okay, so here comes a bunch of eggs flying down. We got pink guys and we got blue guys. Blue guys are already hard at work. The pink guys have not hatched yet. Unless that's how they... Unless that might be... Oh, oh, there they go. Now they're going to go chew on some things. We got chewing on the plants. And if all goes well, they'll lay more eggs, which will mean more plants. What is that? What is that little thing? What is that? What are you? A little science hat. I don't know what you are. I remember when this game uh, came out, there was some sort of like... Um, some sort of like mysterious thing that the community had to like work together to figure out. I don't remember what it was, but there was something big. Uh, I remember reading it on some article, some magazine, I think, somewhere. Um, okay, so we have enough points. We can unlock a plant gene. Let's do that. So now, if we want to make our own plant, we can go to a custom plant, and we can see we can now adjust the height of the plant. So let's say we want a uh, very tall plant. Let's go put a very tall plant in here. Let's see if we can get it spawn in there. Down in the hole. Yes, perfect. There it goes. They're floating down there. They didn't quite make it, but they're going to go in inside here. <laughs> uh, and then they're going to... Oh, a couple of them came out here. And they're going to grow very tall. Tall is kind of a problem, though, because... Um, yeah, there's graphs and everything all over the place. Um, where is... There is... Um, let's see. There's ways of seeing, like, the wind. How, how bad the wind affects us. And uh, I think there's ways of seeing that. Oh, there it is. Wind speed right there. Right there. So we can see how uh, how big the wind speed is. So I guess, you know, tall plants don't like wind. Um, if they are tall plants, they need to have, like, a deep root system, which you can also manipulate in here. We have a science unlock available. We're going to get more plant genes. Once we get more herbivore, we have two herbivore science. These guys are hanging around here next to this guy. Pop another one in there. Build this one up. So another reason I'm playing this game is because it is uh, it's dirt cheap today. Uh, for the next couple of days, anyway. It's normally it's only like $7, but it's like $1.70 right now. 75% uh, off. So, uh, I thought it was worth checking it out again, just to see. Just to see how far it's come and what all's going on. Look, I got plants in the hole. How far can we, can we put more of them down there? Can we just, like, line this thing with... Yeah, let's just line this thing with tall plants. There we go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> we can put some herbivores in there. They're never going to get out of there. They're going to be stuck in there forever. Uh, yeah, I guess, I guess we could. We can also get carnivores, of course, which will eat the herbivores. We have got six herbivores to our name. Uh, they don't seem to be doing too well. I, I was playing around with this a bit uh, last night, and I was having trouble getting my... I think I remember that from before. Getting my herbivores to stay alive. Like, what do you guys need? I don't know. We probably need more. We, get more. we need 3,000 science, it says. So let's go get some more of these research stations. We got enough to build a couple of them. Let's pop a couple of these guys out here. Oh, you know, we put one right... Can I get one on the side here to cover this? Is there any plants in there? Yeah, there's a... Yeah. Can I put one down there? I want you to cover this whole hole. You go like that. Once I once I expand you out, you can cover. Oh yeah, like that. There we go. Cover the whole thing. There we go. Okay, I'll build another one. We'll put one over. Uh, where's a good collection of things? There's some over here. That's not what I meant to do. Uh, I want to put a radar, a research station, right there. Okay, there we go. That'll help us bring in some research and. Um, I think I got. I think I got to put some herbivores down here, down in the hole. Alice and James will be happy. Let's grab uh, some random herbivores. Just pop them down in here, and some more random random plants. Oh, you know what we should do? Oh, one more science unlock. Science, science. Uh, another plant gene. What can we do now? Um, I want genetics. Yes, and uh, and random or custom plant. I can now do absorption rate. And life expectancy. Now these things, I don't, there's not really an explanation of what they do. Obviously, we know what uh, expectancy does. There's little animals down there chewing on these things. Um, height, I'm assuming, has something to do with wind. So if we want something really low, because it'll avoid the wind. There's no wind in this hole, though, right? So maybe we can do tall things in there. Tall things, I'm assuming, will absorb more light. A lot of this stuff is, a big part of this game is you're going to have to just figure out things yourself. The tutorial just teaches you how to, you know, move the map around. And, and it gives you a basic goal. But it doesn't really tell you what anything does. And that's that's... A big part of the game was just for trying to figure that all out as you went along. So we've unlocked a new plant gene that we can learn, which is in here, which I think is, oh, we got root range we can now get. So how big do the roots go? Uh, if we want uh, plants on top where they're going to get hit with wind, I guess we want bigger uh, bigger roots. But if they're down here in the hole, we can just do a small root range and, a, t and um, a giant height, I guess. But we want them to live long time. Efficiency, one, I don't know. Let's uh, Let's throw some of those guys in here. Throw a bunch of those in. Let's throw a bunch of uh, super stumpy guys. Stumpy guys with roots. This way. Uh, absorption rate. I don't know. Like that. And let's just throw these guys 
They're all around here. There's gonna be little stumps. Maybe, uh, maybe the herbivores like stumps. We're up to 11 herbivores, so we actually are making new plants. Uh, we can buy a radar, which will expand our range if we want. If we want to do that, um, we could like try building in this chasm over here. This map is certainly different. We can go all the way up on this this hill up here. Look at this place. Out of range. Oh yeah. Build more radars. This guy's scary. Um, let's go over here. I think do I have to put it in Out of range. range of this. I think I do. Build more radars. Okay, Insufficient we'll... biomass. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I won't. Um, another thing we can do. Well, my plants are burning away here. It doesn't really give me an example, uh, reason why they're burning away either. It's something I guess I have to sort of figure out. Um, we do have science unlock available, so let's go unlock more plant genes. What do we unlock? We have metabolism now. And I, th I think you can kind of see on the right side over here. I'm inspect as I cur her cursor over. I'm inspecting them. So I, I believe things will. I mean, it's evolutionary sandbox, right? Things will evolve over time. So I made those ten foot tall plants there. And you can see the stats of them. So as they as they spread, as they metabolize and and produce seeds, they should change a little bit. I'm not entirely sure how uh, how that works, how well they will, they will work. Maybe it may be a good thing, maybe a bad thing. But look at all those animals down there. We got 24 herbivores all living in this little hole. Oh, <laughs> they can't get out of there though. So they're just gonna eat the plant muck that falls down the hole. Okay. Uh, let's throw out some more, um, let's see, what else can we do here? Let's give me more science. Not yet. Almost, though. Uh, let's bring in some more, collectors will bring in biomass for us to spend things. Research centers, of course, bring in research, which we do want. So throw one of those there. I probably could put a collector here to grab whatever's in this hole also. I don't think I can, I can upgrade these, though. Maybe I can. Let's sit him, like, right here. Because look at all those animals, all that animal science we'll get. Right there. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And you cannot be upgraded, can you? Okay. So, I can upgrade you, though. I will do that. So, all this stuff is now being collected and being researched. Perfect. I'm going to throw just some random pants. Random, random pants? Random uh, plants. Around here. So, yeah. Needless to say, it's a weird game. Um, and, yeah. And the reviews, it's got, like, mixed reviews. And I think that's the reason. Because if you're coming into a game like this, I mean, I don't... I don't want to assume what folks are looking for, but it's not a normal game, for sure. It's just sort of a uh, play around with things kind of game. It's weird. Uh, I do like weird games, though. So, maybe it's my kind of thing. Uh, let's go look at the science here. We can unlock another plant gene or an herbivore gene. Let's do some of that. And a plant gene there. So we can now get... We want to make a... Um, do another one? I want to get a... Uh, let's see, a custom herbivore. What can we learn? We know how to make them fast. That's all. Anything new on plants, though? Maximum biomass. Competitiveness. So if we make one super competitive, a super giant one, let's make a giant guy. Uh, metabolism, yeah, yeah. This guy's root range, massive. He absorbs, he lives forever, and he's giant. He's going to eat everything in his path. I'm going to put him over... Let's stick him over here. The other side of the wall. Someone did make it over there. Um, quite a little com good community over here. I don't want to like build this guy over here and, and start taking everything over. So let's stick him right here. We'll see where he's going to fall. He's going to hit the wind, and he's going to go flying away somewhere. Let's see where they're at. There they go. They're falling down. A bunch of them came out, and they're all right there. Should they, did any of them survive? I don't think any of them survived. Oh, oh, there's one. There's one. There he is. He's giant. Everything is burning away. Everything's burning away. What's going on? Is it because of you? Are you too big? Is your roots going all the way over there? Maybe. We don't really know what the problem is, but everything is... Is everything dying? What'd I do? Did I just break my planet? You, stop it. <laughs> What'd I do? Maybe we went a little too big? Out of range. Build more radars. Ooh, bad, bad times. Let's go to spawn some more just random plants in here, though. I think it might be them. Maybe? Because I put those down and now everything's terrible. Um, things down here in the hole look good, though. <clears throat> yeah, this place is fine. It must be those guys. I must have just, like, ruined everything. Because they are... The root range of competitiveness. Maybe they're just, like, they're, uh, attacking everything else? I don't know. Throw a bunch more in here. Down to 300 plants. We still have 10 herbivores, though. I'm assuming they're all down there in that little hole. Which is 
just make a whole bunch of planes here. Let's see if we can get him to survive. Maybe we can outcompete this guy. Maybe we make a little guy that can outcompete it. I don't know. They're going to live forever, though, of course. Or maybe it was just a bad day. Let's look at our, our graphs. Was it a bad day? It was a very humid day. Maybe that was it. It was cold. It's getting cold. No different than really anything else, though. Wind speed. I don't know. Um, but yeah, we had a big drop off of herbivores right there. Look at that. It just plummeted. All my animals are dying. Let's throw in. We got four herbivores. Let's throw a bunch of those guys in. Hey, you know what? Come, oh, oh, wait. Here's what we do. Here's how we deal with this. We put some, some eaters. Come eat these. That's how you fix the problem. Nom, nom, nom. There you go. Yeah. Eat up. Eat up, boys. Look at them all. They're so happy. These things are going to be giant. But not today. We're going to eat them all. And we're going to put in a random carnivore. We need to have 10 carnivores. Oh, uh, 10 carnivores born in a while. There's some carnivore eggs laying out. And now they're going to go. These guys are big. They're going to go munch on all these guys. So I probably put them. <laughs> they can eat them fast. There they go. Off. Running around doing whatever they do. Eating the uh, the herbivores. World score just went up pretty good. We beat Isaac. Take that, Isaac. All kinds of craggy things over there. How's the uh, how's the hole doing? Let's take a look. These are some big herbivores. We're up to 51 herbivores. Something to, we did something right. Put one over there. And what about you? Can see some seeds getting shot around. Yeah, yeah, build more radars. Anything down here still? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. There's still a couple animals. I think they're running out of out of things to eat. Let me throw a couple of these guys in here. There's no like limit to how much we can spawn. It's sort of, we just throw out whatever we want, really. I mean, I guess you can just go crazy and just make all kinds of plants everywhere. I guess there's a way to start this. I don't know. Again, there's no like I don't think there's any way of winning the game. It's just sort of a um, play the game until you're tired of it. But we can keep on upgrading uh, things to make uh, make our science range go a little further if we need to. It's pretty good, though. That covers that whole area. We could maybe get it to reach back here. This one seems to be... Oh, I'm going to use an upgrade. That one can use an upgrade. We're getting a lot of herbivores now. We're getting a lot more herbivores than we are plants. Did I just spawn out herbivores and not plants? Look at them all. Is that what I just did? I did, didn't I? Random plants, please. Lots of plants, lots of plants. Those big, those big uh, grain silos over there are still doing just fine. Okay, lots and lots of plants. They're all going to get eaten, though, because they're going to be tiny, and all the animals are going to eat them. I think I think we might have just broken our uh, our planet here. Look at all this. We got this over here. Has has started to pop in. There's no animals over there, so that's why it's staying alive. New science unlock. What do we have here? We have unlocked a plant gene. Let's get a new herbivore unlock and a couple more plants. And uh, I'll take a um, new plant gene. Let's get some fancy plants around here. So we come in here. We can find pretty much everything, right? Seed drag, seed efficiency. We don't, there's one thing we don't know yet. So we don't want... We'll take tall plants. We'll take tall plants that um, get real big. But not real competitive. We don't want that. Maybe the root range should be a lot smaller. And um, something like that. Some metabolism. We'll keep that all like within reason. I don't know what reason... I don't know what reason is. Um, efficiency. Oh, yeah, yeah. We want to be efficient. Okay. So then we can come in here. We can like throw a couple of these guys out of range. in range. Build more radars. Make some more of these grain silos. Let's see what they do. I start throwing lots of things out. You do have, some, uh, yeah. There's a bit of a, a bit of an issue with the, uh, uh, what's the word? Optimization, I think. It's a little bit, uh, a little bit funny. There's all these little guys running around, and we can actually look at them too. I think we can come in here and we can see. Let's see, customer before. We can highlight them and we can see like what these guys are doing. We can just see speed and turning speed. That's all we can really unlock with the herbivores because we haven't learned anything about them. Uh, maybe we can learn more. Oh, we have one. That's it. Oh, only one more plant gene to unlock. Let's unlock an herbivore gene. And is that it? Do we get all the um, plant genes are done? Yeah, we have everything. Seed force. Hmm. Like, like, a, like Jedi plants. Oh, we got another another stump over here. And look, a couple more stumps that way. Very exciting. The game makes you appreciate stumps. Okay. Well, that's about enough of that. So, there we go. There's intelligent design. Uh, I spent, like, I did eight, eight episodes, I think, on this game. It hasn't changed a ton, a ton from what I played before. There's a lot of different UI things I noticed that are different. 
Uh, but I'll link that if you want to watch uh, like a series on this. But it is on sale today. If you like, check it out if you like. Thanks again for watching. And I'll see you next time.